little music, Tuesday tunes on Portland today. We're going back to the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. I am a product of the 80s, kind of. I was born in the 80s. <laughs> well, Portland, more of a Rock. Product than that. <laughs> Portland Rock Legends reuniting for a great cause. John Smith is here of New Shoes, Valerie Day of New Shoes, and John Coons from Johnny and the Distractions. Welcome, you guys. Thank you. Thanks so Thanks. much for being here. So I got out of here. high school in the 80s. So that's kind of the, the music I most remember. Yeah, yeah. right? I want to picture you. Did you have like a mullet or did you, what were you, what was your style in the 80s? Yeah, what you are you know? ashamed of? <laughs> 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 No, to me, remembering the fashion and the music of the 80s, I thought in some ways it was a little boring because you were just coming out of the loudness of the 70s with the men's platform shoes and disco being born, right? Right. So to me, 80s was almost a little quiet after getting out of the 70s. Oh, interesting. Uh, <laughs> they, I don't agree with you. <laughs> yeah, well, you were from the Midwest. So. Yeah. Uh, it was maybe you know, quieter maybe there. there yeah. So what are some of your fondest memories performing? <clears throat> performing, you know, um, any any uh, concert where people are actually listening and, yeah. <laughs> and getting into it, which actually is almost every concert we do these yeah. days because of that thing that happens when you discover music in your high school days or college days and you get it. really connected, yeah. it's just there forever. And people love that. So we're, we're really uh, appreciating every show that we're doing now because, hey, we're still here. We're still <laughs> we're here. Still, we're still, still alive it. and people are still interested in listening to what we do, which is kind of a miracle, I think. How do you guys think the music of today is compared to the music of the 80s? Better, I worse? I, I listen to books on tape now. Oh, yeah? <laughs> but, you know, I got to say, uh, it, in answer to your previous question, the big thrill for me was becoming a local, one of the top local bands, because mm -hmm. the scene here in the 80s was incredible. It hadn't been discovered yet. Seattle got all the press. Right. But Portland, was just incredible and Tony Demicoli that we're doing this concert for was a great big part of it. Yeah. He, he gave a lot of us our start in um, in the club scene here. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Where was his club at in town? Was it down? Well at first he was at this little yeah. place uh, called the Long Goodbye. Did you play there? Did yeah. you ever play yeah. the Long Goodbye? Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then he uh, started uh, Louis La Bamba's which was okay. in the old Renaissance what was that place called? Down near Saturday Market now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's been a couple different hooch parlors, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's the <laughs> quote of the <laughs> show. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, then he ended up at Key Largo. Which is where we played a bunch. Yeah. Which is very yeah. cool. Now, who opened for Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers? I did. What, do you have a favorite memory from that, or? Uh, yeah, we, we, that, that was back in the 80s. And, sure. Uh, um, we were new, just an album just down on the charts. They were very nice very decent guys to open for. We opened for a lot of different people and you know sometimes you got treated well sometimes you didn't and their audience liked us okay and, and some audiences hated our guts. You know, so it was <laughs> good that's how it goes. Oh, well, yeah. Tell us about the big tribute show. We can't wait for it. Well t Quarter Flash and John and New Shoes were playing these clubs back, back in the 80s that, that Tony was, was managing and um, we have never actually been all on the same show together, I don't think. So this is this not all is, three of us. No. Yeah, no. no. We so we're this all is, working so much. We yeah. were all working so much that we never got to see each other. So this this show is is to support Tony. He just uh, came through um, some cancer uh, treatments, and as everyone knows, anytime you're in that situation, the bills just pile up. Yeah. And so um, a bunch of people from the Oregon Music Hall of Fame, Terry Courier, Mark Baker, they put this thing together and they asked us to play, and we of course said yes. Oh, this so. is going to be so huge. Now, should everybody dress up in our 80s garb? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think Come on, Rod. I think preppy when I think 80s. Yeah. I'm preppy. On well, July 16th. That's Missouri. <laughs> we were preppy in Missouri. Prep stores. All right. Yes, there's the info there. At the Crystal Ballroom, again, July 16th. Uh, so I assume online you can go to the Crystal Ballroom, do you know? The yes. website to get tickets? Yes. Is that uh, right? CascadeTickets.com. Is Cascade the ticket. Tickets. That's the ticket link. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be a yeah. fun like, night. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's going to be rocking. Packed house at Crystal, I imagine. Yes, you can get them yeah, at the, absolutely. You can get them right there at the ticket window, too. All right. Okay. Well, we can't yeah. wait can walk for up that. Up yeah. Thank our, you, guys. Our whole, our whole band is going to be there. John has a 12-piece band, I think. 10-piece band. 10-piece right. band. Almost 12. It's going to be rad. <laughs> I can't 10, wait for that. Yeah, it's going to be a blast.